Hi, I'm Dr. Rodriguez. Thanks for joining me. Today, I'm going to discuss the design and 3D printing of an adapter to connect multiple patients to a single ventilator. Conceptually, the setup is simple. Use two four-way splitters to connect the inspiratory and expiratory limbs of the ventilator to four intubated patients. The first mention of this concept comes from a 2006 article from the Journal of Academic Emergency Medicine entitled, A Single Ventilator for Multiple Simulated Patients to Meet Disaster Surge. In the article, the physicians use a system of T-pieces to create four linked circuits capable of ventilating four patients. Now, the astute members of the audience will probably ask the question, since there seems to already be a solution to the problem, that is, to connect already available T-pieces, and on top of that, the safety of 3D printed materials have yet to be definitively shown, why bother 3D printing a redundant solution? Quite frankly, I thought the same thing, but one of my critical care colleagues asked if I could do it. So taking this as a challenge, I challenged myself to a 24 hour turnaround time to see if something like this was actually needed, could I make it rapidly? So let's get into it. Here's the design I came up with in Fusion 360. It's an ultra simple design, just some intersecting tubes, which literally took 15 minutes to make. For speed and simplicity, I sliced the model with 0.3 millimeter layer height without any supports. Now we print the model up. After the print completed, I took it to the OR for a basic leak test. To simplify the test, I capped off three ends of the splitter so that just two ports could be connected in line with the circuit for a leak test. And the results? A spectacular fail. The leak in the circuit was far too high to be usable. A closer examination of the part reveals why. The printing process and large layer height resulted in a flat portion that prevented the splitter from creating a seal. I tried printing the part again. This time I used a smaller layer height and supports for the bottom to give a rounder shape. I tried a leak test again, and although there was improvement, the leak was still too large to be usable. It seems that with this design, I would have to do some post-print processing to get a smooth enough surface to create an appropriate seal. I wanted to avoid this because it would take too much time and add an additional layer of uncertainty to the already uncertain safety of 3D prints. I changed the design so that only a flat edge would be on the build plate and printed it up. This design had much rounder edges and was a better fit for standard 22 millimeter respiratory tubing. I took it again to the OR for a leak test. This time, the part passed the test successfully without issue. Back to our discussion. Has ventilator sharing actually been used successfully in humans? The answer is yes. In 2017, emergency physicians at Sunrise Medical Center in Las Vegas successfully placed multiple patients on a single ventilator after an influx of intubated patients overwhelmed their ED during the Las Vegas shootings. So it can be done. Although it's important to note that these Las Vegas trauma patients were healthy at baseline before their injuries. Another question is, should we be attempting this in our COVID patients? A number of major organizations, including the Society of Critical Care Medicine, the American Society of Anesthesiologists, the Anesthesia Patient Safety Foundation, and the American College of Chest Physicians have strongly recommended that this not be done. But even with opposition from these major organizations, the burden of COVID-19 disease is overwhelming certain areas of the US and world. At least one New York hospital has resorted to placing multiple patients on single ventilators. It will likely be some time before we can fully evaluate the success of these attempts. In conclusion, is it necessary to create a 3D printed splitter for multi-patient ventilation? No. Already available T pieces can be used. Should we be doing this? It seems pretty unlikely that treating multiple patients with complex lung disease will be successful with these simple splitters. A more complex solution would need to be developed. This is a very difficult decision that some critical care physicians will have to make. Do you give one patient the best chance of survival and let the other die? Or do you give both patients an equal but lesser chance of survival? 
That said, it is feasible that healthier, non-COVID patients be triaged to the shared ventilators and more single ventilators kept available for the COVID patients. However, we also have to keep in mind that with significantly less community activity and minimal elective surgeries going on in the US right now, the volume of traumas and post-surgical complications are significantly less, and this strategy might not free up that many ventilators. Hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching.